Brothers, do I have in the house tonight? Come on, put your hands together, everybody. Let's worship. Come on. Jesus lovers in this place tonight. Come on. Put it down just for a second. How many of you have come to have an encounter with Jesus? Oh, I'm going to say it again. How many of you come from America and all over the world to have an encounter with Jesus Christ tonight? Come on. Listen, I don't want to be too long before you because I believe that God has set this night up so that you can walk away from here and have an experience, a true encounter with the Lord. Sometime between now and before you leave, we want to have you stop by our table and we want to just give you some, some gifts of what we've got tonight. Can we just kind of toss a little bit of our, come on, let's throw out the CDs. I want to just kind of, come on. So make sure you go by the front of the table, pick up our t-shirts, pick up our wristbands, pick up our crosses. We got some good stuff out there. Now listen, I need to find out about something because I know what's coming. I need to know how many young people are in the place right now that truly love Jesus. Lift your hand up. I mean, I, keep your hand up. I need all the Jesus lovers in the house. Lift your hand up as you can. 
Now, keep your hand up, keep your hand up, keep your hand up. If you love them, keep your hand up. For some reason, when we get in times like this, instead of engaging in worship, we take out cameras and we just gauge and we look like this. Some of y'all look with some rhythm. But that's not worship. We didn't come here for you to look at us. We can't save you. We can't heal you. We can't deliver you. And we can't set you free. But will you gaze at the one who makes you whole? Will you set your eyes on the one who brings you out of darkness? Miracles happen when the people get their eyes off of each other and get their eyes off of us and put your eyes on him. Now listen, I believe revival is about to break out in this house. How many of you want revival to hit this place? Oh, come on. How many of you want the power of the Holy Spirit to rest in this place tonight? Well, listen, I might just have, I might just have about 100 people. I might just have about 200 people. But when I count to three and I say lift up the name of Jesus, I need that group of people who can care less about what everybody else is doing, what everybody else is thinking, who's not trying to hook up, who's not here to put on your next Facebook or your next YouTube video, what you got from your Winterfest. I need some warriors right now. I need some worshipers right now. I need some people who want to see Jesus come. I need some people who want to see Jesus come. I need somebody who want to see Jesus. So when I count to three, I want you to go to jumping. I want you to go to shouting as we lift up the name of Jesus. I need you to set an atmosphere so that God can come and miracles can happen in the presence of Jesus. Are you ready for Jesus to come? Are you ready for a Holy Ghost revolution? Do you want revival in this place? Come on, here we go. One, two, ready. Come on, lift up the name. Jesus, we lift up the name of Jesus. Lift up the name of Jesus. We lift up the name of Jesus. Lift up the name of Jesus. We lift up the name of Jesus. Lift up the name of Jesus. We lift up the name. Come on, everybody, sing it. We lift up the name. I would dance like David's dance. When the spirit of the Lord comes on my heart, I would dance like David's dance. When the spirit of the Lord comes on my heart, I would dance like David's dance. When the spirit of the Lord comes on my heart, I would dance like David's dance.
I need some people in this room that don't have, you don't need to have a guitar to praise them. You don't need a, a keyboard. You don't need drum sets. You don't need dancers. You don't need, come on, I need some people who love him so much that he's enough for you to lift up your voice. He's enough for you to lift up your hands. Lift up your voice and win a fast. Give God a shout in his house. 